Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is uh, day two. I, I knew it was day two. Uh, I had to log in again because I'm in a new thing again. Uh, I'm back to Brandon Sires, by the way, as you can tell from my background. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. Uh, yeah, I'm back here in Buenos Aires. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So my internet is relatively fast again, which is good. Uh, I'll do an intro another day. I just got, I didn't just get back, but I did. I got back relatively recently. Um, what I was going to say is that uh, I was stuck at the airport most of the day. Uh, it, it, it was, it's not a happy day, but, um, I mean, you know, maybe it forced myself to kind of uh, rest a little bit. So maybe that's good, but I am here now and I'm still tired. So I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that's it. Let's take a look at today's problem and let's get to it. We have 36, 23 count number of, of trapezoids one. Uh, maybe we'll have uh, the other ones later, but I don't know. Well, that'll be later Larry's problem. So anyway, okay, so we have x, y points. Horizontal trapezoid has at least one pair of horizontals. A horizontal trapezoid is a convex corollario cor with at least one pair of horizontal sides, par parallel axis, two lines of parallel if they have, if and only if they have the same slope. We then we turn the number of unique horizontal trapezoids that can be formed by any four distant points. Since the answer can be very large, we turn modular ten to the nine point. Okay, so my 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 mod. Let's start with not forgetting the mod, which I do a lot. So I usually just write something like this, um, just so that I don't forget it. Um, I mean, because it won't come. I mean, I say compile. I know Python don't compile per se. And also, I know that you can say that it compiles into bytecode, whatever. My point is that it just um, gives you an exception when it runs. I don't. Know, I mean, I I know we could be pedantic, but sometimes language is just a language. Um, okay. So basically, the idea here is um, is this a tra trapezoid? I mean, is is it a horizontal trapezoid? Because they talk about slope. Two lines of parallel if they have slope. But we don't care about... Because that's why I was... Because if the lines have to be parallel, then it's just a parallelogram, right? That, then it's not a trapezoid. I think this is fine. And if this is fine, then all that means is that um, we just have to merge the... Is it the y-axis or the x-axis? Parallel to the x, so... You have to merge all the points in the y-axis and then kind of just like count them in a uh, uh, intelligent way, right? Okay, for example, um, I mean, I think that this is pretty, it's mathematical counting maybe, but it's also very basic math, uh, counting, at least nowadays. I mean, maybe you can argue that at some point um, this was not as basic, but uh, sorry, I'm my one of my fingers making a small sound but um yeah what i mean by that is just about counting right um and the two ways that you can think about this maybe um one is um one is that we have to try to do unique right uh i mean that's not the one part the, the one part is that okay we're trying to keep them unique so the two things you can do you could double count everything and then divide it out or just don't double count everything um, so, okay, so then now I can say, um, yeah, so for example, uh, I'm, uh, let, let's bring up the drawing board, uh, hang on, and again, uh, I'm not at home with my actual drawing board, uh, I have, I'm using my touchpad, so excuse the terrible drawing, uh, but the idea here is that, okay, um, let's say now we, we I mean, because uh, given a, a thing, right, uh, if you have like let's say a lot of points and they're all the same y axis here, then now it almost doesn't matter. Uh, given two sets of y axis points, let's say there are four of these, right? Uh, and you only have to do, choose two of them to get a parallel line or x parallel to the x axis line, and there's five of them, and you have to choose two, right? And of course, there's um, what do you want to call it? There's well-established math for this, right? Um, it's just four choose two and five choose two. 
and and now then given these two sets then now you have four choose two and five you choose four choose two here and each of these four choose two you combine them with one set of the five choose two right that's basically the idea and then you multiply it out okay so that's if you have two sets of y-axis things right so what do you have you have three uh well then now uh you just have to kind of figure out how to generalize it and here okay maybe i put more points it's now six choose two right um and again i'm using the touchpad so it's a little bit messy but point is that okay then that means that for each of these what does that mean well then now it is actually just five choose two right plus six choose two right because th then now you're asking okay for each set of these points how many um i was gonna say parallel graph, how many trapezoids can you make um right and you just the addition of these things right and that's basically the idea and you could do this for everything right um like i said um the reason why i write it this way and i have turned the ac because it's really hot in here uh, okay maybe i'll start on afterwards because i'm always anyway so uh I, I just got back so i'm like a little bit disorganized and disoriented mm. okay in any case yeah um so you could either double count it divided by two or you could just not double count it right uh, either way is fine if you're consistent and if you are okay with the edge cases okay so then now let's just say we have um Hmm. Give me a second. Let me look at the constraints real quick. All pairs are pairwise distinct. Okay. Because I, I was going to say, well, if they're all pairwise distinct, meaning that those two points are on top of each other, then actually the the x axis doesn't matter, right? Keep in mind. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you look at the diagram, uh, the drawing that we did, um, it actually doesn't matter where the points are exactly, right? We just need to know that it is four of them. So from that, we can figure out the data structure. Um, but of course, you don't have to do it this way in the sense that maybe this is a little bit of a premature optimization. Maybe you just store the X in a set or something and then realize that you don't need to use it later. But, you know, with experience, these are things that you uh, may notice, right? So maybe here we can uh, have Y's, uh, which is, you know, just the number of, of uh, points given that Y height axis, right? Uh, and yeah, and then for x, y in points, right, uh, then y, s of y increment by 1. And that's it. Um, and we know how many points there are in total, right? So maybe let's just say n is equal to length of points. Then now we can say for y in uh, y, s dot keys, you get use different synthetic sugar for that right so then now this is the count right so count uh, i could even say count is equal to this and then now um yeah count choose two which you can there, there are a number of ways you can do this math but i'll, I'll just use uh, in python there's a comp is it comp i think this is comp right am i uh did i make that up let me let me write it I didn't make this up, right? This is a function. Uh, so I, I sometimes have too many languages in my head. I forget which like uh, which API goes with which one. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting old and a little bit slow. But anyway, yeah. So this is the number of pairs on this y-axis, right? Um, and this number of points is it's okay, but it's not quite correct, actually. Um, because it's not... You don't choose two out of all the other points, right? So actually, you maybe um uh, maybe another thing that we could have written is maybe like something like pairs is equal to zero maybe we just go for it once and then we just do pairs is equal, and this is the number of pairs of points over all of them right and then now the reason why this is key is that now you could do it again um count duh, 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 right uh, and you know that the current pairs um pairs the current pairs maybe um is equal to this right and then you know that the number of other pairs other pairs are just pairs minus current pairs right so then now it is current pairs times this and that is the number of combination of this thing right 
and that should be good except i mean now we're um we are um over it right uh we're double counting so then we just have to divide by two from under counting uh and yeah and that should be okay because well i mean you know uh maybe i make a there's some stuff about modular math that, uh, well, let's see if I make a silly mistake somewhere first. Okay, so this looks okay. Um, there are a couple of things you can do. For example, here you could skip a function call. I mean, this is an easy math formula that you probably know. Um, it is, you know, I'm not going to, you know. Um, I think the, the tricky thing, I mean, and, you, you know, divided by 2 over mod is not difficult either in, in the inverse module kind of sense. It is a little bit weird if you haven't done it before, so I'm not, I, I don't know if I should go over that much detail. Um, but the thing is that, of course, uh, current pairs, um, you, you, you know, yeah, if, especially if you're not using Python, I am using Python, so I'm, I'm able to get away with this. Um, but, but you have to be careful if you don't. Um, current pairs, right? Uh, current pairs is just can be n over two, or sorry, n choose two. Uh, given that n is ten to the fifth, uh, n choose two is going to be ten to the ten, right? Uh, and if it's ten to the ten, and this is say roughly ten to the ten, even though it's not quite that way, right, then it could definitely overflow long. So you have to be really careful, uh, especially if you add them more. Um, like I said, there are some module math that you can do. I don't know what, what I do last time. Wow, that wasn't that long ago. Hmm. Do I did this part the same way? This part the same way? Oh, th I just I I did cache this. Uh, so I guess I did basically the same way, except for I, I skipped uh, a calculation by saving this function. But um, hmm. Yeah, I mean I don't know. Uh, and the divided by two over mod. I mean I I think if you're in another language, what I would suggest is um you know having a mod over this right but, uh, like this and then do, 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 right and but then now the divided by two might not work right uh, i'm gonna submit just to show you i don't think it should work anyway if it works then i'm actually kind of surprised right see there you go and the reason is because you can just module two, so over that right you have to uh do the inverse mod right so what, what is inverse mod um yeah it's going to do, 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 do uh something like that right might as well test this one too uh and eh, is it worth me going over i don't know right um and it's, it'll be funny because i think like maybe the next time i i, I do this i'll be like, like why did larry oh larry get it wrong but and i wouldn't remember that it's because i did it for explanation right but yeah but you can do it this way it's a little bit faster maybe or well i mean it, you definitely need to do something like this though that's not quite how you would do it in another language anyway modular inverse but uh, i'm not gonna go over that in detail for today just because i i don't know if that's within the scope of what i want to do but definitely this is something that comes up a lot in competitive programming in the viewing i'm not quite sure that it is i'm not quite sold on um the impact but for modular inverse definitely consider that and yeah uh researching for uh for competitive uh it's something that comes up a lot and well i just noticed i took off my watch and i have like what you might call it a watch 10. Mm. yeah well uh but yeah that's it that's what i have thanks for watching and yeah stay good stay healthy good mental health uh yeah goodbye from brenositis see ya